okay good morning my dear students in this class i am going to discuss about expression for the electric field at a point on the axial line of a electric field expression for the electric field at a point on the axial line due to a electric field in the last class we have discussed what is electric field what is dipole and dipole moment axial line equatorial line axial line and equatorial line here in this class i am going to discuss about expression for the electric field at a point on the axial line of a electric dipole axial line means a line passing through the axis of the electric dipole axial line means a line passes through the axis of the electric dipole is called axial line here consider a electric dipole consider electric dipole this is electric dipole where this is the negatively charged where this is the positive charge minus q and plus q these two charges separated by a small distance to a this is electric dipole here consider electric dipole consider electric dipole here these two charges separated by a small distance to a here electric field at a point on the axial line when the line passes through the axis of this dipole here this is the axial line axial line means a line passes through the axis of the electric dipole is called axial line now i want to calculate the electric field at any point on this axial line electric field at any point on this axial line suppose if i consider at this point the point p at this point the electric field here at this point p how much electric field is there now i am going to calculate that electric field here the electric field is present due to the resultant charge here e is the resultant electric field due to plus positive charge or due to negative charge here the minus q and plus q these are the two point charges these two point charges separated by a small distance to a and consider a point p from the midpoint o at a distance r at a distance r where this total distance is to a this is the midpoint o now this distance is a and this is a a plus a to a electric field at this point p at a distance r now this distance positive charge to electric field at a point p this distance becomes r minus a and electric field at a point p here point p2 minus q negative charge negative charge to electric field at a point p is that is r plus a here this total distance is to a distance between positive charge and negative charge this is the electric dipole this is dipole length and midpoint of this line to electric field at a point p is r and positive charge to electric field at a point p that distance is r minus a and the total distance from negative charge to electric field at a point p is that is r plus a the first one electric field at a point p due to the positive charge at this point electric field at point p due to this positive charge you know the electric field formula an electric dipole here e plus q here electric field due to the positive charge is equal to 1 divided by 4 5 epsilon not q divided by due to this positive charge electric field at a point p the distance between positive charge to electric field at a point p that is r minus a that distance q divided by r minus a whole square along the positive x axis along the positive x axis and the next concept is electric field at p due to minus q charge electric field at this point p due to the minus q or due to the negative charge here the distance between negative charge to at point p is that is r plus a now the electric field due to the negative charge electric field due to the negative charge is 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r plus a whole square along the negative x axis along the negative x axis electric field along the positive x axis in this direction here 
this there are marks of electric field along the negative x direction here electric field at this point p due to the positive charge is e due to the positive charge equal to 1 divided by 4 by epsilon q divided by r minus a whole square from positive charge to at this point the distance is r minus a from negative charge to at this point electric field at this point the distance is r plus a q divided by r plus a whole square now the net ch electric charge at this point p the net electric charge at this point he here we have consider e1 is greater than e2 now the net electric charge at this electric point p is e is equal to electric field due to the positive charge minus electric field due to the negative charge net electric field here e1 is greater than e2 that's why i write electric field due to the positive charge minus electric field due to the negative charge substitute these two equations here e is equal to electric field e plus q minus e minus q substitute these two values in this equation here this is electric field due to the positive charge along the positive x axis this is electric field due to the negative charge along negative x axis substitute these two values here e is equal to e plus q minus e minus q now you get this equation e is equal to 1 divided by 4 by epsilon q divided by r minus a whole square minus here this is electric field due to the positive charge electric field at a point p due to the positive charge minus this is electric field at a point p due to the negative charge that is 1 divided by 4 by epsilon q divided by r plus a whole square here take common term outside you get q divided by 4 by epsilon 1 divided by r minus a whole square minus 1 divided by r plus a whole square here cross multiply this here you get q divided by 4 divided q divided by 4 by epsilon not r plus a whole square minus r minus a whole square divided by r minus a whole square r plus a whole square you know the formula a plus b whole square a square minus b square whole square or a minus b whole square here it is in the form of a plus b whole square expand this equation you get r square plus a square plus 2 or a minus a minus b whole square r square minus a square plus 2 or a here r square a square r square a square these terms are cancelled you get 2 or a plus 2 or a that is 4 or a now e is equal to q divided by 4 by epsilon not 4 or a divided by r square minus a square into whole square here this is e is equal to q divided by 4 by epsilon not 4 or a divided by r square minus a square into whole square now but you know the formula dipole moment dipole moment dipole moment means it is the product of strength of the either pole the product of strength of the either pole and dipole length it is the product of strength of the either pole and dipole length dipole moment it is mathematically denoted by the symbol p p is equal to q into 2a p is equal to q into 2a it is in the form of 4 into re or you can write this equation e is equal to q multiplied by 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not your 4 2 into 2 qa into r because dipole moment p is equal to q into 2a here now this total term is considered as a dipole moment p now you get e is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not dipole moment p is equal to q into 2a here 2 into 4 qra qra means 2 qpa into r it is in the form of dipole moment you get e is equal to 1 divided by 4 by epsilon not 2 pr p is equal to p means dipole moment 2 qa p is equal to 2 qa into r divided by r square minus a square into whole square which is the expression for our desired equation of the here expression for the electric field at a point on the axial line due to the electric dipole suppose express this equation in the vector form now i can write this equation electric field electric field is a vector quantity e is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not 2 pr divided by r square minus a square to whole square to unit vector p the which is the expression for electric field electric field at a point on the axial line due to the electric dipole thank you